15th president of Towson University. Madam President, the university community is assembled for commencement. Good morning, everyone, and especially to our graduating class of 2013. <laughs> I welcome you to the 148th commencement of the proud history of this university. And I also want to mention that as long as this history exists forever and evermore, the College of Health Professions will be the first college to ever have graduated from this facility, the first. I want to take a moment to thank all of the people who prepared this building. It was virtually impossible to be in here today. It just couldn't happen. The building was cleared late last week. We had uh, hundreds of people working on this building to make it safe and secure and beautiful inside and out. It, for the impossible and for the beauty of this room and this ceremony today, let us thank everyone who worked hundreds and hundreds of hours. <clears throat> Today we celebrate you as our newest graduates and your significant academic achievements. This is a rigorous and difficult college. You should be very proud of yourselves for your degrees. It has been our pleasure to guide and mentor you and watch your transformation. I want you to think for a second about your first day here, orientation or when you came on campus to look at it for the first time or decided to come here, perhaps your first class, where did you park, if you could park, where, what, what do you think about those first couple of days and how you were wishing for this moment and now it is here. It really is a remarkable thing in one's life. Now I'm going to ask you to please stand or remain standing for our national anthem. It's going to, we're going to be led in the singing by Ms. Lindsay Rabe who will graduate with a Bachelor of Science in Music Education on Thursday. In addition, the national anthem will be signed by Ms. Lauren Castellanos, who is graduating today with a Bachelor of Deaf Studies. So everyone, gentlemen, please remove your caps. Thank you, Ms. Rabe and Ms. Castellanos. At this time, I would like to pause for a moment of silence in honor of the faculty, staff, and students who have passed away during this year. Students Kelsey Allen, Devin Spence, Asan Mahmood, and Ryan Bailey, and staff member Larry Young. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may all be seated. The flags on display today represent the 29 countries of the 70 international students graduating from the university this spring. 
Also on stage are flags representing the 77 nations of our current total international population of 570 students. We are so pleased to have each and every one of you in our Towson family. As you can see, an education at Towson not only serves our region and the state, but also reaches across the nation and across the globe. In addition to the international flags, you're going to notice a number of graduates, as well as faculty and staff, wearing black and gold pins signifying their support of the Tiger Commencement Pledge. This pledge is a voluntary commitment by our graduates, faculty, and staff to become more active in their communities and to work for positive change in social and environmental conditions. We applaud your efforts and thank you for your service to humanity. I now call upon Charlotte Ridgeway, our newly elected president of the Student Government Association, to introduce representatives from the university's various boards. Charlotte Ridgeway. This morning, we are pleased to have with us two members of the university's board of visitors, Mr. Ted Zaleski and Mr. Dennis Mather, who will be delivering remarks to the graduates. The Board of Visitors is a group of professionals who advise and guide the President. Dennis Mather, a 1972 graduate of Towson, holds more than 35 years in the insurance industry, having climbed the ranks from insurance agent to founder and CEO of his own Mather's companies before he sold the successful business to a national insurance distributor. Today, Mr. Mather is a member of the Long & Foster's Bethany Delaware office, specializing in residential sales and is committed to giving back to the community through service, through the service and Cynthia and Dennis Mather Charitable Foundation. Dennis currently serves on Towson University Board of Visitors and Foundation Board, has also served on the Board of Maryland Stadium Authority and Baltimore Reads, a literacy nonprofit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Dennis Mather. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, good morning, President Leski. Provost Chandler, distinguished guests, honored faculty, family, and graduates. On behalf of the President's Advisory Group, the Board of Visitors, I bring you greetings and congratulations on this significant accomplishment. It is our pleasure and pride to see you graduate today as you become part of the prestigious legacy of scholarship, personal excellence, and public service. Before today, you may have thought of the Board of Visitors as people who have incredible stories of success that share their expertise with the President. But in fact, the diverse backgrounds and experiences of the Board of Membership are what make us valuable advisors to the President. Currently, the Board is comprised of an architect, professional dancer, a student, a faculty member, a former state superintendent, a community leader, a realtor, and several business executives. With all those differences, we are identical in one way, and that is our passion and commitment to advance this university. Each of you also hold within you a unique story of success. Your story may have a humble beginning, a stroke of luck, triumph over adversity, or your story may still be in the making. No matter what your story and all of its twists and turns, never underestimate its potential to inspire or help others. So as Towson graduates, when you are called upon to share your leadership and expertise in any capacity, Embrace the opportunity to serve, but also be prepared to learn. Whether you view today as a milestone or a capstone in your educational journey, it is indisputable that, you significantly more, that there are significantly more opportunities now that lie ahead of you. As Towson graduates, you now hold an important responsibility to be good stewards of your education and use it to make a difference in the world. On behalf of the Board of Visitors, I once again offer our sincerest congratulations Wherever life takes you from here, continue to seek out opportunities to lead, to serve, and to learn. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mather. We are also fortunate this morning to welcome Mr. Frank Mezzanotti, member of Towson University's Alumni Board, who will bring his words and welcome and congratulations from the Board and the Alumni Association. Please welcome Mr. Frank Mezzanotti. Thank you, Charlotte. Good morning. As a member of the Alumni Association and a proud graduate of the class of 1973, 
I am honored to be here today representing the more than 133,000 alumni who have graduated from this remarkable institution. Each of these alum have a story to tell about their success and how they achieved this through their education at Towson. My own story would not be possible without the education, experiences, and connections I've made at Towson. Today, you join 3,444 fellow graduates that make up the class of 2013. <laughs> 2,684 of you are receiving a bachelor's degree. 742 of you are receiving a master's degree or certificate. And 18 of you receiving doctoral degrees from Towson University. Your class is 68% female, 32% male. <laughs> the average age of our undergraduate students this year's graduating class is 23, and the graduate student age is 30. The youngest graduate of the class of 2013, Hannah Carr, who is receiving her bachelor's degree in psychology at the age of 19. Our most seasoned graduate, Andrea Gorton, who at the age of 70 is receiving her bachelor's degree in English. Your class represents 24 of the 50 states, with New Jersey and New York having the largest number of graduates. And of that, the record is 206 from New Jersey and 124 from New York. <laughs> Nine of you are the sole representatives of your home state. For those of you receiving your master's or doctoral degree today, we know that 23% have also received a bachelor's degree from Towson. So a second congratulations is in order. We know that this class was very engaged and active as a majority of our current seniors and graduate students participated in internship and experiential learning projects this past semester. Additionally, members of this graduating cl class were involved in intercollegiate athletics and a wide variety of co-curricular activities, all of this while having an average GPA of 3.35. We know that most of you will stay in the great state of Maryland after graduation, because on an average, 73% of TU alum call Maryland home. Although alum live in every state across America and 82 countries, perhaps you will join a nearly 6,000 alum that actually married a fellow Towson grad. Whatever path you decide to take, remember, you will always always be part of the growing Towson Alumni Network, and we want you to stay connected to your alma mater. The Alumni Association will help to do this, and we look forward to hearing from you and your accomplishments and successes in the future. On behalf of the thousands who have preceded you, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your outstanding achievement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mezzanotti. And speaking of alumni, may I ask that if you are in the audience and you are indeed Towson alumni and you are indeed a parent or a grandparent of one of these grads, would you please stand up and let us say re-hello to you? Look at that number. That's marvelous. <clears throat> Thank you. Now I call upon Charlotte Ridgeway again to introduce our first student speaker. Charlotte? 
Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce our undergraduate speaker, Ms. Marcella Montenegro, who is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. Marcella Montenegro is graduating from the RN and BSN program with a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. She was born in Argentina, where she taught drawing and sculpture in the middle and high school setting, as well as at a private cultural center. After traveling through Europe, she immigrated to Baltimore in 2000 and graduated from CCBC Catonsville with an Associate of Science degree in nursing in 2007. She currently works full-time as a clinical nurse in the post-anesthesia care unit in the Shock Trauma Center at the University of Maryland Medical Center. She was a recipient of the National Dean's List Award from 2005 to 2007 and 2011 to 2012, as well as a recipient of the Maryland State Nursing Scholarship for the years 2006 to 2008. She received the Shock Trauma Center Superstar Award for inspiring others and contributing to the success of Shock Trauma Team in 2010. She is a member of the Society of Trauma Nurses and the National Association for Hispanic Nurses and was inducted into the Honor Society of Nurses, Sigma Theta Tau Epsilon Chapter. Her goal is to continue providing quality patient care while ensuring continued patient care, while continued personal and professional growth and leadership roles to serve the Maryland community. Please welcome Ms. Marcella Montenegro. Thank you, Charlotte Ridgeway, for that introduction. Good morning, President Lasky, Regent Slater, distinguished guests, honor faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. I feel honored to share with you this special day marking the beginning of a lifelong opportunity for personal growth and continued learning. Early in my life, my parents, Ima and Aniva, taught me the importance of education to succeed in life. Twenty-some years later, and after many life experiences and trips abroad, I landed in Baltimore in the year 2000. I have since been working as a shock trauma nurse at the shock trauma center, where I daily learn cutting edge nursing practice in what is an extremely demanding and fast-paced clinical learning environment. By joining the healthcare profession, I have gained a sense of purpose and fulfillment that I didn't have before becoming a nurse. Two years ago, feeling that my commitment to excellence in patient care required renewed efforts, I enrolled in the Towson University's RN to BSM program. Thanks to the support of many people at the Shock Trauma Center and the flexibility of the nursing department professors, I completed the bachelor's program on a part-time basis while working full-time in a highly stressful but most rewarding field of nursing. Continued professional and personal growth is now not only a necessity in my professional career, but also a responsibility toward me, my loved ones, my patients, and peers. As we all face the uncertainty of the future, I would like to share with you, with you a few things I have learned thus far. First, if you do your best with everything, when you make a mistake, you will be able to learn from it and move on. Second, remember, no matter how much you have learned, there is much more that you still have to learn. So rem uh, remember to remain humble enough to receive others' generous input. And last, if every personal and professional decision you make is out of love, then your life despite all difficulties and challenges, will be worth living. It will be intense and meaningful in a way that you cannot imagine. In conclusion, I ask, how far will you be willing to go in your pursuit of happiness? In trying to answer that question, remember that we are all together in this journey that is life, and it really is about the journey. So use this tool of education wisely. Use it to live your life to the fullest, to love what you do, and to commit yourself to it. Congratulations on how far you have come 
and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Montenegro. I'm sorry. Good morning. I'm Lisa Jackson, the president of the Graduate Student Association. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the graduate student speaker, Ms. Sarah Catley, who has graduated with a Master of Science degree in Speech Language Pathology. Sarah Catley is originally from Salisbury on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Prior to attending Towson University, she received her undergrad, undergraduate degree in psychology and hearing and speech services from the University of Maryland College Park. Following graduation, Sarah taught English abroad in Spain for a year to continue exploring her passion for multicultural populations. Her research interests in the field include working with culturally and linguistically diverse populations in adult neurogenic communication disorder. Following graduation, she plans to seek employment as a speech language pathologist working, with clin working clinically with either pediatric or adult populations. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Ms. Sarah Catley. Thank you, Lisa Jackson, president of the GSA, for that introduction. Good morning, President Lesky, Regent Slater, distinguished guests, honored faculty, family, and fellow graduates. This day has been long anticipated by many of us. I know personally, this exact moment has been counting down in a timer app on my classmates' smartphones. It started out around 180 days ago and was referenced frequently during large projects, final exams, and moments of questioning whether this day would ever actually arrive. And now that it's finally here, I want to take this opportunity for us to truly soak in the moment and relish in all of our accomplishments. So often in this age of technology, information is shared widespread with a simple touch, only to be consumed and then quickly discarded by its readers. I can bet that if you haven't done this already, at least some of your day will be occupied by posting statuses, pictures, and tweets related to graduation. And I'm not judging because I'll be doing it too. However, there is much more to this day than pictures of our decorated caps, and this moment deserves much more recognition than any like on Facebook can give. For many of us, this moment is the culmination of years of academia, hours of clinical work, and endless late nights of reading research articles. I know that personally, Towson University opened up a world of opportunity that I didn't even know existed. A world where I could learn about the fundamental theory behind speech and language disorders and also treat those disorders in patients at the same time. One where not only did I learn the interdisciplinary approach, but I lived it every day with nurses, doctors, teachers, occupational therapists, and so on. One where my professors challenged me to think critically in the classroom and then to apply those skills in our clinical practicums. In today's society, we rely so heavily on technology to get us from point A to point B. There's an app for nearly everything. But I believe that no form of technology can ever replace the services we provide for our patients. There is no app for nursing. Nothing could ever replace the relief a nurse can bring when caring for his or her patients. There is no app for speech-language pathology. An app could never diagnose your swallowing problems or recommend an appropriate diet. And yes, speech-language pathologists actually do that. There's no app for physician assistance, occupational therapy, audiology, health science, gerontology, or kinesiology. I think you get my point. Our skills are invaluable. Our service is one that will always be needed, 
and all of the skills and education that we've accumulated here at Towson University will stay with us for a lifetime. A writer named Ari Pankvici once said, graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on until the last day of your life. If you can grasp that, you'll make a difference. So graduates, take in this feeling because today we not only celebrate for our accomplishments, but for every day that we make a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Our journey is finally beginning and it all starts in this moment. Congratulations to Towson University's graduating class of 2013. Thank you both. You represent the students so beautifully. Commencement is certainly one of the happiest times of your life, but this is also one of the happiest times on the entire campus. All of us just love commencement. We love the celebration of you and your achievements and our commitment to you. There are many in here today who share your accomplishments, and there is one group, one very special group, whose contributions deserve a moment from you. We have one of the finest graduating classes in Maryland because we have one of the finest faculties assembled anywhere on earth. Will the faculty of this university please rise and students tell them what you think of them? Faculty? Thank you. Also joining me on stage today are leaders of the university, those responsible for facilitating our academic and student programs, and who, through their dedication and exper expertise, enable the success of all of you. You may not see these people every single day as you do the faculty and staff, but I can assure you that they are dedicated to your success. That is their passion. I ask that these individuals please rise and remain standing and hold your applause until the end as I introduce them. First of all, the vice presidents of the university and members of the leadership team. The dean of the college, the dean of the university libraries, and the associate dean of the college. Members of the board of visitors. A member of the alumni association. The university senate the American Association of University Professors, the Towson University Staff Council representative, and students of the Student Government Association and the Graduate Student Association. What a group. Please join me in thanking them. And I would like to thank the faculty members who are serving as faculty marshals, student marshals, and faculty readers for this ceremony. They're sprinkled among you. They helped to line you up. They gave you a tissue. They, uh, they pumped you up a little bit. Uh, they're out here working with you, and they're going to be reading on stage. This is a lot of extra work for these folks, but they love doing it. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> As you know, we're a university of thank yous, and we're proud of that. But also, there was over 100 people here to, who have worked on this particular ceremony, no matter where it would be. The commencement committee, students, groundskeepers, facilities, the police, bus drivers, food service, photographers, event staff, custodians, parking, volunteers, too. Let's thank them. Now, if I may have the lights up for a moment, will all of the mothers and fathers of our graduates please stand? Now, stay standing, but let's add to that the grandparents, great-grandparents, and grandchildren of the graduates. Stay standing. Brothers, sisters, spouses, significant others, sons and daughters, 
Up you go. <laughs> and lastly, aunts, uncles, godparents, friends, all of the others who helped you on your journey. Now, students, stand up and thank them. Madam President, this concludes the undergraduates from the College of Health Professions and all graduates for this ceremony. Graduates, graduates, I ask, just give me a moment, just give me a moment. I ask that sometime this weekend, amongst all the facilities, festivities, that you sit quietly for just a moment and reflect and ask yourselves, how the world is going to be better because you have been able to get this education. How are you going to make positive change in the health profession and in your families, your communities, the state, the country, and the world? This is a very uncertain world, and it needs you and your vision and your passion and your commitment. As your president, and someone who sat in that seat many years ago as a new graduate, I send you forward with pride and respect and love and gratitude for all you have given to Towson. Now, all bachelor's degrees candidates, please rise. And... As a symbol of your new status, please move the tassel board tassel from the right to the left. Now everybody, please stand and join us in the singing of Marilyn, My Marilyn. You're gonna find those words on page 63. The President, her party, the faculty and graduates will begin the recessionals. I would ask the members of the audience if you'll please wait and be seated until everyone has left the arena. The guests may then join their graduates outside in the Tiger Arena courtyard. Again, we offer our best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2013. And now it's time to go celebrate.